Sprottshaw Community College's Higher Learning is brought to you by Sprottshaw Community College at Sprottshaw.com. Women pay a pretty penny to get their hair done, and today I train with one of the best. But do I have the chops to cut and color with one of the pros? We'll find out. I'm Christine Bone. I'm the salon manager at Hennessy Salon and Spa for six years now. Well, to be a hairstylist, we're definitely looking for someone who's super personal with our clients. My worry is that it's going to go wrong. We're going to have one of our senior stylists, Amber, mentoring Melanie today. Some people have that preconceived notion that stylists, you know, they just cut hair and they do color, but you have to be a chemist. I'm not a math person. All right, so these are our red can colors. Oh, look at all the different shades. Yeah, they're it's all brown. the way down. So we're going to measure to the half ounce. So do you want to squeeze it out to that halfway mark? It's like mayonnaise. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> all right. She says that now. It takes 45 minutes to process. That means you can't take 45 minutes to put it on the head. So going over five or six times isn't going to make no, it any faster. No. Okay. I'm not speedy when it comes to coloring, so that was a bit of a problem. <laughs> Here, I'll hold this for you. Right. There we go. Now, Melanie's working a little slower than anticipated. We allocate about 30 minutes to apply, and it took really 30 minutes to kind of section and start brushing on. Oh, did I get your ear? Sorry. Is that thin enough? No. We'll work with that. So as we're doing this, we're usually talking to the client. Oh, talking to people is normally my strong suit, and that went right out the window. Oh. Comfy? Kind of? We want warm, right? Yep. So start at the hairline, just try to get all the color off of it. So she's still got color all along here, so you want to use your finger to kind of scrub it out. But don't use your nails. Oh. The dye on her forehead was very hard to get out without kind of digging in there and hurting her or getting water in her eye. Still got some along there. So you want to just use your finger? <laughs> Glad no one's sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> water, water, everywhere. That thing is hard to control. When you're at the sinks, um, first of all, you don't want to get the client all wet. I mean, this isn't a shower. How's that? Oh, um, it's not straight as yours. It's definitely not as straight as mine. Oh my gosh. Who knew it was so hard to part hair? Lee, how much would you like taken off? This much? Just a trim. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so these are my scissors. Okay. You get to use these ones. Oh. <laughs> I get the small scissors? Come on. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, it was, it was for the best. It's okay, Shirley, yours. first cut. Are you ready? Probably yes. going to need the comb. Oh, the comb. <laughs> I feel not confident at all about this cut. Nope. That's way beyond that point. <laughs> You're going to cut into your finger. Um, I, I was really scared for the client and for Melanie. I was really scared she would cut you know, a piece of her flesh off or her fingers. If I was nervous, it was because she made me nervous. And you want to cut close to your finger. There you go. Um, I let Amber finish it off because, you know, I had other things to do. Okay, Christine, so would you hire me or would you fire me? You know, you look the part, oh, but unfortunately this is not your industry. Oh. I'm going to have to fire you today. Oh. I can't blame her for firing me. I don't think I would want me to do my own hair. Tick, she's got the personality. Tick, she's got the look, but no. She uh, does not have the skill. She took way too long with the color. The shampoo was a disaster. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Hennessy Salon and Spa. Melanie speaking. I may not be able to work scissors, but I can work a phone. Sprodshaw Community College's Higher Learning has been brought to you by Sprodshaw Community College at Sprodshaw.com.